I've been really scared to make this for a while or just not this specifically, but um anything. Uh I I feel like I've been stuck in a rut for a really long time creatively. I haven't made anything like this in a while. I mean, I've I've shot stuff and um, you know, tried, but never to completion yet um, and it's been very frustrating so I'm trying to step out of my boundaries and you know actually complete something in regards to you know film or movies um and I'm sure some of you may watching, you know, might think, oh, this is just a vlog. This is a video essay. This is a YouTube video. And like, yeah, sure, call it what you want. But, you know, I I think you can call this a movie. And I think people who uh, they call me pretentious, whatever, you know, I can see how that is. But why not? Right. Like, why can't any moving picture be a movie? Um, even if it seems more, you know, nonfiction style, uh, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make something and if nobody watches this, cool, totally fine. This is for me anyway. So, you know, all good. Um, but if you do watch this. Um, I hope you get something out of it or relate or something. Um, you know, being creative can be, or trying to be creative can be incredibly lonely. And, you know, it's important to have community, whether it's online or in person with others, to push yourself to do stuff or just, e even not creatively, just in life. <laughs> you know, it's good to have people you love. Um, surround you and maybe if you're not doing your best you know they can help you pick pick you off your feet i think that's really important um just kind of got off topic of um creativity but that's okay um this isn't meant to be a set thing um but yeah being uh, sometimes, I don't know, maybe this is just a me thing, and I am, oh shit, and I'm, um, talking into a, a void, and nobody relates to this, it's just me, but I don't think that's true. Um, being, doing creative stuff is hard, and the drive to do it can be difficult if you aren't already, like, actively participating in that, and... You know, not everybody has the time to do that and they're like, and, you know, we'll be busy with anything in life, you know, work, school, other responsibilities. Um, so, you know, it takes an immense amount of privilege to even make art like regularly. Um, so, yeah, I think that makes me feel even more guilty because it's like I not guilty i don't know um i think it makes me feel i don't know not angry i don't know you know i i don't know what i'm saying but that's okay i feel i think i feel bad that i don't make art when i have the opportunities to and you know i say i want to do all these things but then i I don't, and I just sit, and not just sit, I don't know, I do things, <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to change that, I want to make stuff again, I used to make stuff when I was a kid, pretty frequently, I used to, I used to make movies with my 
childhood friends we we would make like indiana jones i guess fan films um but i'd like uh, not just me but we'd all work together too um we we kind of just copy scenes from Raiders of the Lost Ark um, because I love that movie and made them do that, which is very kind of them to put up with me. Um, and I would dress up as Indiana Jones and uh, we copied the boulder scene. I remember, weirdly, my older house had, um, older house, but my first childhood home had this porch and it, the, uh, the basically the porch went up, like it was on the second, um, on the second, uh, not layer. Oh my god, let floor. Fuck, Jesus Christ. Um, and we pushed. I remember. I think a yoga ball down the stairs, and I ran from it. And I, I, I of course, started as Indiana Jones, and made them film me. And it was awesome. And it was. It, it was just looking back as an adult. It was very fun and i feel like i've maybe lost that fun when it comes to making stuff and i want i want that back and not to say that i've never you know haven't made anything in let's sit up a little not that i haven't made anything in you know ever it's you know in the last um several years um i write i like to write I think that's fun. Everybody should write a little thing if they are in the mood. Poetry's fun because poetry is very, you can write whatever and call it poetry. And I think that's awesome. And not just anything, but you know, do what you want. Um, yeah. I forgot where I was going with this. Hopefully this isn't frustrating to watch as you watch me lose train of thought. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I like to write, um, you know. I, I, but I, my I, when I was a kid, I wanted to make movies, and I, I still do, uh, but I haven't. And, like, and it's been very frustrating because I I make excuses and and kind of put myself in this box waiting for the right time but you know there's never the right time there's never going to be the right time you if you want to make something you should just do it and I'm trying to learn that and hopefully you know making this will will um help me do that I think if you want to create something, do it. Just do it. There's no reason why you shouldn't, and all the reasons too. Um, it, it's just such a fantastic way to express yourself, and no matter the medium you like to do, whether it's drawing, painting, poetry, writing, stories, filming, filmmaking, photography music um just do it um i regret not doing it as much and yeah i don't know You know, movies and, you know, any art, it, doing that art can, I think, really connect you to your inner child, and that's so important. And I know I'm just kind of blabbering, but 
it's a lot of feelings that I've had pent up for a long time and I just want to get them out. I, I, I want to be like the little boy that I was when I saw a camera, a piece of paper, pen, and I and wanted to make something out of nothing. It's probably probably the you know it's the most human thing we can do and yeah create make stuff make stuff in the despite or in make stuff in spite of not making stuff something's better than nothing and we all need to including myself we all need to make stuff for our, ourselves and for the greater good of showing it to other people because what's the point of art if you're not going to show it to people right um, it's so important to like, like I was saying earlier building community sharing it is going to could possibly build it for somebody build community for somebody you know you make them feel seen maybe this is doing that for some of you and if that is that's a beautiful thing. But if not, you know, I'm surely another piece of art will. And I think that's beautiful. I think it's incredibly important also to do things that make you feel like a kid again. Whether that's watching old movies, playing your old video games, or reading old books, playing, I don't know, going outside, riding a bike. Riding a bike in, you know, under the sun, breeze going through your hair. You know, getting off the internet playing I guess in reality but I guess for some people the internet is reality so that's its own thing um, anyway the importance of <laughs> making yourself happy making the kid you happy um, this is a short I used to watch on all the time as a kid I made my mom I bring my mom replay it all the time. Always have to wind it back up, but it's this um, this Mickey Mouse VHS. I'm sure there's some problematic stuff on here, which is not good in some of the shorts. But um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. That's okay. We don't need to. We don't need to um, highlight that. But <laughs> um, I remember there's a specific one in this. Um, it's not playing right now. I don't know where it is. To be honest. Um, I have to cycle through it all to 
go look, but there was a short where Mickey and all the and Goofy and Donald are like on a road trip and they're driving and they're trying to eat corn at the same time and they're biting it. And I don't know why, but I was so fascinated with that as a kid and it just I don't know. It, it it brought me a lot of peace, weirdly. Um, just, like, th- this was a great example of, for me, escaping from, not escaping, that's not the right word, but, but a portal to another place. And that's what movies are, and that's what this was for me. Um, obviously, had plenty of other stuff, like Star Wars, that was a big one for me, that did that same thing. Um... But I recently found this and I, I don't know, it just, it, it made me feel warm. Yeah, made me feel warm. I think it's important for all of us to feel warm. Um, whether that's, you know, again, doing stuff, do, doing the hobbies you enjoy doing, um, or, you know, like, I guess, I guess specifically to when you were a kid, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I think that's incredibly important. But also, um, linking it back to the idea of an artist and making art, um, that stuff heals you and makes you warm. So, this isn't really, like, a formal thesis or anything, not that... or. Um, not that it's meant to be. I don't even know what this is. I I mean, I know what this is, but I, you know, I'm making this up as I go. Um, yeah, go watch movies. Go watch stuff that'll make you warm and happy. And maybe even watch it with some somebody you love. That can always be important and special and mean a lot. In the long run. What is that fucking alarm sound? Jesus Christ. (laughs) 